Jake Sherman, Anna Palmer, welcome to the Hirshhorn Museum. Thanks so much for having us. We're excited. Thanks for coming to speak with the viewers of the Bear Facts today. I think we want to explore some of the intersections of art and politics. When you think about politics and art, it doesn't always go hand in hand. It's not an easy connection for some folks to make, but obviously now we have a few storylines like Hunter Biden's burgeoning artistic practice in painting and, and kind of windows of influence potentially into a presidency. You've had those themes before, of course, in, in covering President Trump. Maybe you can speak to some of the crossover between the president, former President Donald Trump's business dealings and, and how they were scrutinized by reporters and how in the Biden administration this issue might be scrutinized similarly or differently. Yeah, I mean, I think part of journalism is uncovering and really trying to find out what's happening behind the scenes. And a lot of that is following the money trail, you know, whether it's personal finances, whether it's directing, you know, government projects, how those get, you know, put to certain different companies, things like that. I mean, that's kind of the fabric of a lot of coverage here in Washington. Certainly when the president's son decided to become an artist and sell his work, you've already seen kind of the different leaps and bounds and, and kind of own their own kind of framework of which they've tried to decide what is the right way to approach mm -hmm. that and we'll see if the, they're successful in doing it. Certainly there's been a lot of people that have been very critical of it, that he's tried to profit potentially off of his father's presidency. Yeah, I think it, it's up to people who are uh, far more versed than us to decide if, if Hunter Biden's paintings live up to its, um, its cost of a half a million dollars and why people are buying those paintings. I think there's been a lot of really excellent work done about the ethics arrangements that the mm -hmm. White House has um, has uh, um, put up in place to to facilitate the sale of this art. I think it's 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 incredibly unusual. <laughs> so I mean, you'd have to concede that, right? I mean, yes, the Trumps were obviously um, running a hotel and luxury and leisure business alongside his presidency. There's a massive hotel just down the street from the White House. Mm -hmm. I just think this is incredibly unusual. We're in new territory, but we do have an art expert with us. Josh, what do you think about a novice artist like Hunter Biden commanding prices of half a million dollars for large scale works or the $75,000 for works on paper that he's charging? Charlie, can we short those artworks? <laughs> That's no. my professional art market view. They're worth maybe five to $10,000 for he, a normal artist just starting and who's ever buying them is not keeping it secret. So all the <laughs> ethics things that they say they're doing of not knowing the buyers, mm -hmm. as soon as someone buys it, they're gonna put it up in the Chinese embassy maybe, and they'll know, because the world will see it on, on Instagram, that they have it. So it's a, it's a big- So you're saying people are not buying it to hide it in their- In their basement. In their basement. <laughs> no, because they love it so much, and it's a first show, it's only 500,000. They want it, if they buy it, they're gonna show it, and I suspect that Biden's will know who has them. So and what would our you readers say? aren't gonna buy them. Well <laughs> that's that's something that's for certain, but I think what's yet to be determined is how the administration handles it when these shows happen and who's the Bidens will be there. Hunter will be there at his show next month in Los Angeles and at the gallery in October. So even the influence of who's allowed to attend potentially, that could be an issue. I think they should have just waited three more years though. Kamala as president and done his show after that, and it would have been fine. The timing, had he been an artist working publicly for 30 years, no problem. What's interesting though, because you have to think about this, so like, there's a lot of former presidents that have artistic that endeavors after this, right? You don't see George W. Bush selling his work, but he certainly, what, what is your grading of his work? But generally, we put George Bush at the top, then it's like Winston Churchill, then John Wayne Gacy, but was he president? And then we have Hunter Biden. And then Hunter Biden <laughs> is down there somewhere. So but he's commanding the highest prices, so. It's no, but George Bush is not, he's actually, in fact, donating. Yeah, making mm -hmm. books and donating them to veterans organizations. These are sort of the latest kind of NFTs. So they're about the money, they're not about the art. I do think it's an ethical challenge mm -hmm. that the administration has failed in this case. Yeah, I do think, I mean, I personally, I think it would be a str I agree with you 100%, but I have tough, a tough time translating that into reality. I don't think that Joe Biden, I don't think, I mean, maybe if some foreign national bought it and I, I mean, there are a lot of ethical pitfalls that, that I just, I don't know exactly what shape it would take.
But like Anna said, it's an unprecedented situation, so it's going to be yeah. revealed, I'm sure, as the shows begin at the galleries. <laughs>